beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is Foundation Friday. Now if you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Snapchat, you saw that I just got this amazing package from Becca in the mail. Inside this amazing package there's 24 shades of their 24 hour ultimate full coverage foundation. So this inspired me, you know, to do my Foundation Friday today. And then I realized I've already reviewed this foundation. This foundation is actually the same as their old foundation. It just is new packaging. So this is the old version. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And now it says the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Technically, it's the same foundation, but the packaging is so much smarter because now you actually could see what color you are because this you really don't know you're going by the sticker on the back but this is a million times better it looks better and it still has a pump so if you want to see my full review of the ultimate coverage foundation i've already done it you can watch it right here i'll put the link and you could see how well this does when i do a full day test and show you how oily i get but since i have it I'm just gonna do a get ready with me today and try a bunch of new products that I haven't tried yet. Now before we begin, let's address the elephants in the room. One, this happened. I know what you're thinking, the world is over. The other elephant in the room would be my friend Fred and he brought his friend Sal. So between my broken nails and my little breakouts, I decided to turn these lemons into lemonade and I was inspired to use the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation once again. So let's go ahead and get started with some products I have not showed you guys on my channel before, starting with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Primer. You guys know that everybody loves the Infallible Foundation, especially if you have oily skin. So when I heard they made a matte primer, I got real excited and went out and bought it. This is a drugstore, very affordable. And I'm going to just smooth this on my skin. It goes on like lotion. It feels pretty moisturizing for being matte. Now let's go ahead and go for the foundation. Now I used to be the color tobacco, but they decided and realized that that is not a cute name, so they changed it to maple. So now that we can see what maple looks like in the new packaging, yep, this is it right here. Maple used to be my summer color, but until I start getting in the sun and tanning again, I'm gonna drop it down a little bit lighter to the color cafe. So let's go ahead and use this pump, one pump. Eh, maybe two. Now I already know how amazing this foundation is. If you guys haven't seen this before, check out how full coverage this is. Let me zoom in. So here are the coverage volunteers that popped up this morning just for the sake of this video, I know. So kind. And let's do this. Let's, let's just put some here, put some here. What blemish? I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, this is the perfect color for me right now. Love it. So here's my complete foundation, just with the foundation alone. I'm getting the ultimate coverage, giving me ultimate confidence now that it's hiding all the things I wanted to hide. So let's continue with some more highlight. So I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Highlight Concealer under my eyes. Now I'm gonna let this sit for a minute so it can get a little more acquainted with the skin. And I'm gonna try something brand new out of the box. This is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeshadow Primer. Good thing about having this broken nail, it's easier to put on my eyeshadow. Now let's blend it in using my Beauty Blender once again. Now I'm going to set my under eye with the infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. Now you see the importance of setting powder with, without. Definitely more matte. Now let's move on to the eyebrows, my new 
favorite brow pencil is definitely the Ferocious Brow Pencil by The Balm. I'm using dark brown. And it is a double-edged sword, so I do get to use the brush on one side and then fill it in with the pencil on the other. Now for the eyes, I really wanted to dabble in the new Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. Look how beautiful these colors are. But I don't really know how to do eyeshadow. Do you know how frustrating it is to be sent amazing makeup and not know how to use it? But we're gonna change that because I'm going to experiment until I get it down. So I'm gonna start off with this color right here, Daybreak. And I'm going to put this as kind of like my base. Ooh, it's very pigmented. Now I'm gonna go in with Heat Wave, this pretty reddish color right here, and kind of focus this more on the corners. Imagine if I knew what I was doing, how great this would turn out. But the Becca Ultimate Coverage is giving me the ultimate confidence that I can pull this off. Now I'm gonna use the color Wedge to darken it out even more and just kind of make this like a little cut crease going on. Add some dimension and depth in the corner. Now I'm gonna use 16th Street and put this right on the inside. And to go a little bit lighter, I'm gonna use the other side of my brush and go in with salt. I'm gonna grab the Endless Silky Eye Pen. This is Pixies, my new favorite liner by far. And now my new favorite mascara, which is the It Cosmetics Superhero. This stuff right here is super. Look how much fuller my lashes look. Amazing, right? Whoops, I was so excited about the mascara, I forgot to put on my liner. This is the new Schwing liner by The Balm. Schwing, swing better, better, swing better, better, swing. There we go, now we can go back to the mascara. Now let's bronze things up with the new Take Home the Bronze by The Balm. This is our little new contour bronzers, basically. I'm gonna use my favorite double-sided brush by Kat Von D, the shade and light one. And let's chisel out these cheekbones, shall we? Let's try a new blush. I use the same one my entire life. This is the Black Radiance Toasted Almond Artesian Color Baked Blush. And for the fun part, let's highlight. And since Becca just loves me so, I have so many highlights to choose from. So I'm going to use a Prosecco Pop. Ooh, yep. That's what we needed. Now I'm gonna try a new lip color, also by Urban Decay. This is part of their whole beach line. This is the color Heat Wave. Let's see what this looks like. Love it. In honor of trying all these new products, I also tried the ORS new Olive Oil Edge Control for the first time on my hair. It smells like green apple, and this is one of the few ORS olive oil products I've been able to use because most of their things contain silicone, and as some of you guys know, I don't use any hair products that contain silicone. So. Really happy to use edge control, and so far, so good. So that completes my full face using a bunch of new random products. Let me know what product you are most impressed with and leave me a comment down below. Also, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.